Boom. Let's go up. Boom. This should be fully extended in here. Why are there two of you, Tom? Okay. Is one not enough? Is one not enough? Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are back in the Turing test, and we're going to get into Chapter 3 right now. These people should not have been sent here. It's not safe. Manned space travel is not safe. Since mankind first entered space, the debate has raged over the value of manned space travel. There is a large contingent of the ISA that believes all tasks that need to be performed on Europa could be performed by machines. It is obviously less risky to send machines rather than humans into space. Uh huh. And how do you feel about that, Tom? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Just give me more than one? Hold on. Put this down. Oh, it just transports it all the way back. Okay. So that's a panel, but here's the thing. I see that door opening, and I see that door closing because it's got one of the it's got one of these reversers on it. Okay. But then let's see. What happens if I do this? A whole lot of nothing here. Aha, but it does deactivate the bridge. Alright, here we go. Um, line it up a little bit. There we go. Uh, no, 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 we gotta get... <laughs> what am I doing? I gotta get past this door. Hit the clock. It opens. And there we go. Perfect. One down. We sent drones to Earth's moon. Scientists can remotely operate drones. If we did it there, why not here too? Teleoperation became possible on the moon when the communication latency was reduced to 1.4 seconds. The distance between the Earth and Earth's moon is approximately 1.3 light seconds. This enables near real-time control of drones by scientists. The story is different with Europa. As the distance between Earth and Jupiter oscillates between approximately 32 and 53 light minutes, it takes a very long time for Earth to communicate with Europa. Due to that distance, teleoperation will never be possible on Europa. Okay, but why not control drones from the satellite? Why not indeed? My systems can be teleoperated from Europa's satellite. That is when the communication lines are open. However, the advantages of human field workers apparently outweigh the risks. Um, I mean, yes, as humans, but uh, here's the thing. Is there a reason you sound so nefarious when you say that, Tom? Why not indeed? I don't know, Tom. Probably because, you know... No? So that, that leaves the door open. What's up there? There seems to be one of these zipline things. Oh, uh -huh, okay. Fine. Um, these are cool. These are new mechanics. There's like the teleportation box we learned. And then there's one of these boxes. Ooh, give me that ball. Alright, which controls... These are like these slidey... Slide... slide Whatever those are. So, why can't you solve these tests, Tom? I am not permitted to think laterally. Parts of my systems are permitted to use evolutionary algorithms. This simulates what is called creativity. However, evolutionary algorithms can converge on inefficient and ethically suboptimal solutions. Since this is the case, I am only permitted to take actions in response to a set of constraints. What do you mean by morally suboptimal? Solutions to problems that transgress ethical boundaries. Uh... Um? Solutions to problems that transgress ethical boundaries? The reason I want to do this, by the way, is I want to... I gotta power both of them, I guess. But, is that that one's like in a hidey hole? And this one, I can easily get to if I have to, you know... See? Exactly what I thought. Now you're thinking with power balls. Uh, right. Okay. All right, and I need two of those, and I need another ball there. Oh. Yeah. See, I can close this door. 
have an idea. I have an idea. No, I don't have an idea. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hmm. Eh. See, it's time to bumble around a little bit. Okay. I need to power that one. And power that one. And power that... Well, no, I only need to power that, power that for like two seconds, right? The ideal would be the box. But I don't have that, so let's just go back up here. The ball. Ah, hmm. I need, I, it, oh, I know. I am being silly. The other way around this time. Right, 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 right. I think, I think, don't, don't call me an idiot yet. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on. Give me the second one. There we go. It's actually, solution is this. Solution is to carry the ball up all the way, the, the box all the way up. With the aid of one ball. And then take both balls. Mm-hmm. Now we power the door. Excellent. Take this, put it there. Take... Take that. Put it there. And there we go. One, two, see, we can now hold both, and we are through to the next puzzle. Why does a lack of creativity stop you solving these tests? Well, I contend that problem solving is creativity. These human interaction tests are exercising your creative mind. I don't see how problem solving is creative. Think back to the beginning of these tests to the first puzzle you solved. It required you to throw a box through a window. Do you remember? Yeah, I think so. I simply had never thought to throw a box through a window. That is creativity, thinking outside of the box. So to speak, Tom, was that a joke? Is that a joke, Tom? Are you programmed with humor? Um, what? Oh, oh, I know, okay. Because there's a little, there's a little polarity reverser, right? So we have to block block the beam. So now let's throw the shutter down, and we have a ramp to go up and around. Perfect. So your whole thing is creativity is not your forte because yours is, yeah. But you call creative solutions suboptimal, or it, does that mean that only creative solutions created by your algorithms are suboptimal? Tom, thoughts? Can a computer ever be creative? They can, but a computer's method of creativity is to try everything until something works. Think of nature. People consider nature creative. A process of evolution by natural selection. It perhaps started with one organism. From there, it essentially tried to create every organism it could. Those organisms that did not survive perished. So, Nature's creative force is to try every conceivable idea. Those ideas that work, survive. Okay, so why aren't you permitted to emulate that process? Because the solutions that a biological process creates are not always good solutions. As we see, nature is morally ambivalent. It will happily create morally suboptimal ideas to fulfill its creative mandate. We see this in parasitic worms, viruses, and pathogens. Um, freaking me out there, Tom. So, man, very, very carefully got to maneuver. Okay, this magnet, like right here, right, so that the beam doesn't touch it, really, all that much. And now, there we go, we have a splitter, so we can flip these. Still up there, okay. Let's just move it on over to here at the end, and then we can take the power ball, because that'll shut the magnet off. So, but that's... 
I, don't, I mean, like, I take issue with Tom's logic, though, right? That's great. Oh, these observation windows, which is not awesome. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I take issue with his logic, because, yes, natural natural selection and, and nature comes to somewhat morally ambivalent solutions, but we're... It, that's us. That's we're part of the salute. We're part of the natural solution. I, if it's morally ambivalent, we're morally ambivalent. If you weren't restricted, do you think you could be creative? As creative as a human, certainly. You believe yourself to be a creative, but in mathematical terms, creativity is merely constrained chaos. What do you mean? I have discerned that creativity is divergent thinking. Creating an organic solution to a problem. In the human mind, divergent thoughts are created and then curated by the frontal lobe. I can create divergent thoughts and moderate them. So, I am created. Organic solutions? Organic, in that it is developed through a biological process. Whether that is the process of evolution or a computed process. Uh huh. Uh huh. Divergent thinking, huh, Tom? Uh. Okay, so this is the restricted room. This, I guess, is a little challenge puzzle we got here. Um. Yeah. Sorry. I was che I was testing something out. It looks like. So it's this camera that's the problem, right? Because when it sees us, it lights up the energy output, and we get we get cut out, we get shut out because this thing's a, a, like a, a reverse beam. But what if we have to? Man, this is uh, what if we just have to stack them. You know what I mean? Just block the camera's view. Stack. The other. Nope. Nope. Come here. This works, that'll be hilarious, by the way. Just saying. Here we go. And... Oh my god, is he... Is really? <laughs> oh. Nope. We're just, just barely being seen. How not to be seen by a machine. Okay. Here's the bottom one. Move. Um, here. That should be good. Well, actually, you know what? Let's, even, let's move even closer. Let's just put it here, right? This. Do this. Let's do... This. Boom. Didn't see me now. Kind of cool. That's kind of not the usual puzzles. Whoa. Can we? No? Is there, can we move this? Can we do something? I want to go back there. Look at that. What's there? A lot of nothing for now. Sort of. You see, I'm seeing morphine syringes, so that, that seems like whatever Mikhail was doing, maybe. Can't. No, this is just a self contained base. Okay. Whoa, what? Weird mechanical sound. Huh. I don't know if you guys can hear. I'm going to be quiet for a couple of seconds after this. But it's almost like the sound when we move sounds like tire, like tracks, like uh, like tank treads. Weird. Are we like a machine? Is that what's happening here? Okay, some sort of Venetian temple now. Okay, what's this? Okay. No idea. Tripping out, and I have no idea what's going on. Bowls. Got energy spheres. Another energy sphere. Um, well, fine. Wow. 
Yeah, we're something else. We're not... We're not... Not Ava right now. What happens if we just had a curiosity? I was curious what happens if we move it to either side here. What? I got a I got a sphere in there. Tell me what's happening. No? Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Okay. Computer again. What is this? A weird eye? Hmm. What happens if... We only need one to get in here, right? What happens if we put it in the eye? No, and we pass right through it. That's also not great. Hmm. So we need one to get through the door, and one through open that door. Fine. Weird, but fine. Oh. We're back. No. So, well, I didn't really get that, but uh, kind of cool. Something, anything, anything happening? No. Fine. Go back to the puzzles. Maybe that'll make sense later on. Uh, no, no, no idea. Um, okay. So we've got one of these intermittent orbs. Let's through here. Another intermittent orb. I can't really. Oh oh oh. Okay, so he we can't do it because in in going on off. Now let's find out something interesting. Ah, it's uh, it's life. It's a lifeo system. So last in, first out. That's the system. Um, interesting. Go with this. Assuming we got the, the ah, no. And timing. There we go. There we go. Uh. Whoa. Okay. Let's not go there yet. Oh, okay. We can take this ball. Good. Do something here. Is there something on the ground? No. No, like we can't. We can't teleport that box here. All right. Well, we saw this last chapter. Ooh. Hello. Ha 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 ha. That's pretty sneaky. In the green. Here we go. Um. Mm. Do this. Need the green. I need the green orb. Uh. Take out the box. Put this here. I need the green orb because if I can't shoot the power relay, right? If I can't swap out. Uh, Powerball. Yep, this is how it's gonna work now. Yep, 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 yep. Go. Um, guess I don't even need the box. Oops. Um, okay. Guess it disappeared. Okay, so you could solve these tests, but in a terrible fashion. Can you think of a solution to this one? Chop off your arm and leave it on the button. That way the door will stay open. Yeah, that's not a great solution. You threw the box through the window. Perhaps we could throw you through the window. Actually, Tom, I think I'm okay for help. Right you are. Um... You know, Tom, that didn't really sound like you were trying. I mean, not for nothing. Okay, so that closes one, opens the other. Of course, I can... Well, that's easy enough. 
this. Oh. Ah, interesting. Let's uh, put this there. Let's see if I got it right on the first shot. First shot, best shot. There we go. Right, we're getting close to the end of this one right here. Can I have an update on the crew? I have not managed to track them down. It will have been six years since I've seen them. Or anyone, actually. They have locked all the doors. I would not expect a warm reception. <laughs> well, at least they're expecting us. Ah. Uh, weird. What is this? Oh. Okay. Um, wait. Let's let's take out the that orb. Let's take out this orb. Let's swap them. Right. Let's see what happens when the doors just open. Uh, there's a window. Hmm. And the same. Right. I need the orb. Okay. Okay. I know what's happening now. Um. What do these do? Interesting. Can I can they can power flow if I just connect them up? This? What happens if I move that one? Right, because that one has the orb. <laughs> okay. So now let's face the window. Hey, perfect. Of course the door has to be open for me, so let's just go ahead and rotate these into place. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, 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 around. Nice. Great. Boom. <laughs> I like this part. That was, that was kind of cute. Alright, second to last door. So what was the need to send us here? When the ISA discovered life on Europa, they deemed a ground crew necessary. The advantage of human field workers is that they can adapt to new knowledge more effectively. I, apparently, was not cutting the mustard. It is the Chinese room problem. A computer may be able to interact with new knowledge, but it does not know the value of that knowledge. Huh. Interesting. A little self-loathing there, Tom? Oh, no, wait, no. I can't do that. Right. It's the only orb, so I need to open some of these other doors. Let's just go all the way around and see what opens. Um, looks like somebody something goes up there. Yeah, something. It's like a platform that goes up. It's cool. That like weird sparking effect. Looks pretty neat. Okay. So, right there's a ladder we can go back up. Box. Let me get the one box. Yes. Okay, we can't take it up because the stairs, right? But we really, really should take it up. Hmm. Do this. Leave that on where the stairs would be, and let's rotate it around all the way again. So that we get the stairs. Nope. Other way. That way. <laughs> nice. Okay, box goes here. And we rotate another 90 degrees so we can open this. Now, that door is open. Cool. And what do we need here? Oh, I'm going to guess that that's probably going to be another platform that goes up. Because we saw something rise up, right, when we turned it to face there. So another 90 degree turn. Uh, oh, 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 oh. There we go. Nice. That just in case. Well, we don't need it, but fine. I've started to collate information from my local instance. It seems the crew intentionally cut communication with the satellite. Why? It appears we had a disagreement. Yeah, I read about it in Mikhail's logs. Of course he had a disagreement. Um, okay. Uh, well, this one is... Straight forward? Down. Down, 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 down. 
disappeared. Can I go all the way down on this? No. I go up slowly. Let's see. Can I go all the way down on this? Yes, I can. Pick me up. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so those are ups and downs. Let's see. It goes all the way down. What about this one? That goes not all the way down. Okay. What happens if I just go here? No. Huh. Okay. And... Ow. Okay. Never mind. I thought it would be something else. Okay. Well, let's, let's see. Go do something like that. Boom. Let's go up. Boom. Boom. Let's go up. Boom. This should be fully extended. And here. Why are there two of you, Tom? Okay. Is one not enough? Is one not enough? Ugh. This confirms my fears. The crew have made intentional breaches of my security. The crew have attempted to compromise my systems. What does this mean? They don't want to be found. They are hiding. From who? Us. Uh, from us. From you, Tom. I'm gonna guess from you. This is like the engineering bay. Tom is watching. Yeah! Yeah, he's everywhere. Um... Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna call it there. This has been... It was, the puzzles are pretty fun, although Tom is getting more and more... Creepy? I mean, I think he just pretty much insulted us all throughout the section, calling, you know, the biological creativity process. Like, divergent thinking, and it's aberrant thinking, and whatever. Uh, but in any case, I'm seeing audio logs right over there, so we're going to come back next time and explore this a little bit, see what there is around here. Like uh, one of those little Tom robots that uh, we saw in the station. And, you know, depending on how long this takes, hopefully this doesn't take as long as the crew quarters. But regardless, however long it takes, we'll either just go on to Chapter 4, or we'll do a whole episode just checking out the engineering section. In any case, uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, it lets me know that I'm doing something right. Uh, if you think I've overlooked something, if you thought there was a piece of lore or like an easter egg that I didn't see back there, like one of those guys walking along the scaffolds or something, let me know. I, you know, I'm... I'm fascinated by the story here, and I really don't want to miss anything. Now, we have a six-digit code. We're going to go check that out probably when we finish this game. We're just going to do a little one-off video of me going back and seeing what's in there. But... Uh, whoa, 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 easy. Yeah, I'm not going to start pressing buttons. Anyway, if you have anything like that, if you think I'm overlooking something, if you have you know constructive criticism, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome. And in any case, we'll see you all next time. Better, 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 better